Think of the neuroendocrine system as the body's regulator or supervisor. It controls hormones, which are chemical messengers that transmit information, regulate important metabolic processes, and thereby control the interaction between the body's organs. The neuroendocrine system is made up of special cells called neuroendocrine cells. They are spread throughout the body. Neuroendocrine cells are like nerve cells, but they also make hormones like cells of the endocrine system. They receive messages from the nervous system and respond by making and releasing hormones. These hormones control many body functions. Neuroendocrine cells are found in almost every organ of the body, although mainly they are found scattered in the gastrointestinal tract, the gallbladder, the appendix and the thyroid. Neuroendocrine cells are also commonly found in the lungs or airways into the lungs, as well as the respiratory tract of the head and neck. The pituitary gland, the parathyroid glands and the inner layer of the adrenal gland are almost all made up of neuroendocrine cells. Other sites of neuroendocrine cells include the thymus, kidneys, liver, prostate, skin, cervix, ovaries and testicles. Neuroendocrine cells make and release hormones and similar substances such as peptides in response to neurological or chemical signals. The hormones then enter the blood and travel throughout the body to other cells. The hormones attach to specific receptors on target cells, which cause changes in the cells and what they do. If the neuroendocrine system is the supervisor, the neuroendocrine cells are the workers. Neuroendocrine cells have many functions, which include controlling the release of digestive enzymes to break down food, how fast food moves through the gastrointestinal tract, air and blood flow through the lungs, and much more. The following are examples of hormones or peptides released by neuroendocrine cells and what they do. Serotonin is a chemical released by nerve cells that helps with digestion. Gastrin tells the stomach to release acid and enzymes to help with digestion. Insulin is made by pancreatic islet cells. It lowers the level of sugar in the blood when it's high. Adrenaline is made by neuroendocrine cells of the adrenal gland. It is released during times of stress, like when you feel fear and increases heart rate and blood pressure. Growth hormone is made in the pituitary gland. It promotes the growth and development of bones and muscles. Somatostatin is found in many organs, but mostly in the gastrointestinal tract and pancreas. This hormone acts as the regulator and helps balance the right amount of growth hormone, insulin and gastrin that is released. Like other cancers, neuroendocrine tumors, or NETs, start when something goes wrong within the DNA of cells, in this case, in the neuroendocrine cells. As mentioned before, these cells are spread throughout the body. In contrast to normal cells, cancer cells don't stop growing and dividing. This uncontrolled cell growth results in the formation of a tumour. NETs are classified as functional or non-functional. Functional tumours make too much of a certain hormone and cause symptoms. Non-functional tumours may make hormones, but don't cause any symptoms. NETs can be slow-growing or aggressive. Unlike other cancers, both slow-growing and fast-growing tumours can spread to other parts of the body. NETs are grouped by where the tumour started in the body. The most common types of NETs are GI NETs, gastrointestinal, including the small intestine, rectum, stomach, colon, esophagus and appendix. P NETs pancreatic nets, L nets, lung nets. Since neuroendocrine cells are spread throughout the body, nets can develop in many different places, including in endocrine glands. The following are also nets. Medullary carcinoma, a type of thyroid cancer, parathyroid cancer, thymic neuroendocrine cancer, Pheochromocytoma starts in the adrenal glands, paraganglioma, pituitary gland tumours, neuroendocrine tumours of the ovaries or testicles, Merkel cell carcinoma, a type of non-melanoma skin cancer. For more information about the different types of neuroendocrine tumours symptoms, tests and their treatment, visit Neuroendocrine Cancer Australia, www.neuroendocrine.org.org.au